Businesses shutting their doors. That's what happened to multiple stores in the Shady Side neighborhood, and those visiting have taken notice. But is this a bad sign for the future of retail there? KDKA's Lauren Linder spoke to one of the leaders of the Chamber of Commerce and has the details. In the last few months, four stores have closed here along Walnut and Shady Side. Most recently, the gap right here. While some tell me they're concerned, others say they're optimistic about the future. One of the reasons we're in this neighborhood is because of this area and the, and the feel. Scott and Stacy Nightage moved to Shady Side for the vibrant life there by Walnut, where they can easily shop and eat but they fear that won't be the case anymore. And I'm worried that it's going to change like the flavor of the area. That's because since they came here, they've watched multiple stores move out. Athleta closed at the end of last year. Then the boutique EB Pepper and shoe shop Footloose shut their doors. The owners retiring. Now the spot where the gap sat for decades is empty. Everyone's moving to online shopping and not interacting with people in stores. In October 2020, the retailer, which also owns Athleta, announced it would close about 350 Gap and Banana Republic stores across North America by the end of 2023, citing current market conditions and the increasing demand online. It's unclear whether that included the Shady Side Gap, but co-president of the local chamber, John Henney, says it wasn't sudden. In this case, these are all closing all over the country. This is not just Walnut Street. Henny is also the president of Henny Jewelers, which has been on Walnut since 1978. He says this isn't reflective of the business there. I think this is just a natural evolution that happens in retail like this. And he says there are already plans for another store to move into the gap, along with a number of other empty storefronts. We feel really bullish on Walnut Street right now. It's good news for the Nittages who are trying to remain hopeful. We just want to make sure that something comes in and continues as a, a point of reference that people can come and enjoy. I'm told the store going into Gap Spot will be announced soon. For now, reporting from Shady Side, Lauren Linder, KDK TV News.